Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard, and I want to talk to you today about the dangers of fructose. You know, it's hard to imagine that fruits or fructose could be bad for you. It's just impossible. I mean, we just think about apples and fruits are just perfectly made for our hands to grip and pull off a tree and eat them. But also, it was never meant to have orchards and orchards and acres and acres of fruits available to us 24-7, 365 days of the year. If you have a cherry tree in your yard, chances are you're lucky to get one or two cherries off that cherry tree before the birds get them. In nature, when fruits were naturally harvested, there was a heck of a lot of competition for those fruits. So the fruits that we've eaten over the years has become excessive. You know, back, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, before we had so many orchards and agriculture, it's estimated that we got about 15 grams of fructose per day in our diets, about three ounces from fruits and vegetables that we would naturally eat. Today, back in 1987, it was measured the average American gets about 81 grams of fructose from their fruits and vegetables, mostly fruits. Fruits have fructose in them. They also have sucrose. Sucrose is a combination of fructose and glucose. Glucose is the, what the brain uses, what the cells use. That's the, that's the energy source of the body is glucose. Fructose isn't really used for energy. It has a different purpose. Most of the really sweet fruits are harvested in the fall. So the bear and the animals gorge on those fruits. And those fruits, the fructose, the high fructose fruits, actually go right into the liver. They're not used quickly as an energy source. It's difficult for the body to make energy from fructose. So what it does, it goes into the liver, it converts directly into fat or triglycerides, and it causes issues. It actually layers fat on the body, so the bears get a nice insulating layer of fat for the winter. So that generally speaking, the super high sweet fruits are harvested in the fall to insulate fat in the winter. So it's designed to help us get fat. And that's exactly what it does. It will congest your liver. Liver, it'll raise triglyceride levels. Studies have shown this to be true. So if you eat a lot of fructose, that's exactly what happened. This all started with the high fructose corn syrup scare, which is now sort of over, but we still have fruits on the menu. We juice them, we chop them, we eat them in probably way more excess than we should. If your blood sugars are good and they're healthy, and you have blood sugars in the morning between 70 and 85 milligrams per deciliter, and I'm a big fan of checking your blood sugar yourself every morning, or at least make sure that you're in that healthy zone. If your numbers in the morning are over 85 or over 90 or over 100, which is pre-diabetic, then you need to scrub your intake of fruits and lower them significantly, as well as your intake of regular sugars or hidden sugars as well. All those sugars are gonna be problematic. High fructose, however, has special issues. It'll convert to fat and make us fat. It'll congest your liver, cause insulin resistance in your liver. Half of your regulation of your blood sugar is, is liver function, not just pancreatic function. The high triglyceride levels will damage your arteries. Fructose glycates 10 times faster than sucrose does. What is glycation? Glycation is when the sugar or the fructose or sucrose or in your blood will actually uh, stick to proteins in your blood and make the blood really clumpy. Uh, proteins like collagen and elastin make your skin look nice and, nice and youthful, but that skin's on the inside too. And if your skin on the inside starts to wrinkle, your, your artery, arterial walls start to wrinkle, your gut skin, your respiratory skin start to wrinkle, the, the skin that lines your heart start to wrinkle, that's bad. This is a reflection of the inner skin. And fructose at high levels actually glycates 10 times faster than sucrose does, so that's important. Also, what happens when, when you have glycation is it robs the elasticity, the glycogen and elastin from the blood. It clumps your blood, makes your blood very thick so it can't circulate into your skin and keep your skin youthful and healthy. And most importantly, it can, that glycation end products convert directly cause the, convert directly into fat and triglycerides and can raise your cholesterol level. So these are major issues. 
fructose has been shown to create liver congestion or fatty liver disease, which nowadays is affecting 20 to 30 percent of the American population. That's a crazy number. We should never have that much. It causes hypertension. It's linked to metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is a combination of hypertension, high blood sugar, uh, high cholesterol as well as abdominal fat or abdominal obesity. So these are issues. The fructose, unlike the glucose, actually feeds the back, bad bacteria in your intestinal tract. So there really are, are many issues that we really need to look at when we have lots of fructose. And like I said, if your blood sugars are normal, have one or two pieces of fruit today. Make sure that they're in season. The less sweet the fruit, the less fructose it's gonna have. So don't, you know, and also you gotta remember, the fruits have been hybridized over many years to be sweeter and bigger than they originally were. So the amount of fructose we're getting because of the hybridization process is much more than we ever intended when we take these foods naturally out of the ground growing wild. So that's an important piece of the puzzle. It's the intensity of the fruits and the quantity of them that we're intaking, juicing them, concentrating that fructose, and then delivering it as a whole jar or glass of juice is an explosion into your blood sugar, into your liver, and it can cause fructose-related liver damage, blood sugar damage, extra fat, and glycation issues, which are linked directly to cardiovascular disease. The number one killer in America cardiovascular disease, the number one cause of that is going to be issues with your blood sugar, which are related to both fructose and sucrose. So please take a look at this article, go through step by step all these issues related to, to fructose. It's very important to realize that we sort of overshot the runway once again by eating too much of a good thing. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Duyard.